Hey YouTube, welcome to Sin City Pools. Hey everybody, we're back with another video. In this video, we are going to be reviewing the checklist for 2022 Tops Update. So Tops Update is the third and final uh, flagship Tops product of the year. Um, you have Series 1, Series 2, and then Update. Uh, update can be hit or miss year upon year, depending on the rookies that were uh, called up during the season. So typically with update, you get a lot of the guys that came, uh, that were called up at some point in the major league season. Uh, if they were, uh, if they were called up super early, they might make series two, uh, but most of the time they, they get put into update. Uh, like we can see with this year, like you know, the guys like, Torkelson, Witt, Rodriguez, Hunter Green. You know, those guys were called up super early. They were only put into Series 2 as a short print. Uh, so now they're all going to we'll all be in here as uh, their flagship rookie. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of similarities with uh, Update. You can see, obviously, the design is going to be exactly the same as Series 1 and Series 2. Um, the nice thing about this, uh, and they're kind of, that's why they're kind of showcasing this is a lot of times with update as well. You see players that are in their new uniforms. So this one's obviously Freddie Freeman in his Dodger uniform, uh, where, uh, I think he was in series one, he was still in his Braves uniform. So that is kind of the nice thing too. Uh, it's good for people that have their favorite players, uh, or maybe they have a, you know, a player that got traded to their team and it's now one of their flavor their favorite players they want to try to get a card of them in their new uniform uh with update it's a 330 uh 330 base cards which is uh very typical for top so series one had 330 series two had 330 and now update has 330 so um the nice thing about update when you have uh, so like this year's update should be a good year of update because of the rookies that are in it. And the nice thing about update when it has good rookies is you have, you tend to have rookie cards and then you have rookie debuts. Uh, now the rookie debuts don't command the value as a true rookie card, uh, but there is still value there. So uh, especially with some of these rookies that we're going to see uh, this year. So the parallel breakdown, uh, it's, looks like it's pretty standard uh from what we've seen i don't see anything new um so you have your obviously your gold foil uh only in jumbos not numbered uh your royal blues or retail not number rainbow foil uh and then you know which is not numbered as well that can be in any product uh and then you start getting into your number your gold is obviously numbered off of the year um, and then you start uh, having your breakdown of all your different colors uh, black to 71, which is a hobby slash jumbo exclusive, uh, all the way down to 101 platinum and printing plates. Um, it says multiple short print ver image variations are expected as well, which obviously it's come to be a standard. Uh, so we expect to see that. Um, it says continuation sets from series one to series two include generation now, um, which they were they were eh, they were okay to me. They were nothing great. Uh, diamond great die cuts. I didn't really care for those. Uh, I know there are some people uh, that did like those. Um, the 1987 baseball. Uh, I'm so tired of seeing 1987. It's it feels like it's been in every product. I can't wait to like hopefully never see that one again. <laughs> I just you know there's so many 1987 designs and tops this year. It's uh, and even in the past few years, so I think it's time for them to move on from 1987. Uh, then there's a new tribute, uh, Paragons of the Postseason. So I'm not sure what that one looks like. This one, I'm I'm happy they they brought back Tops Black Gold. For some reason, not in Series One or Series Two, but they put it in Update. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I love the the Black Gold. Really nice. This. That Otani looks really, really nice. So 
pretty happy about that. And there are parallels for all the different um, inserts. Uh, blue. It just says limited. I, that's the first time I think I've seen where it just says limited. But obviously, it's a that's still a retail, typically. Um, and then all the other colors. Um, oh, it says, while most blue parallels are uh, as, as listed as limited, it says generation now blues are numbered 600. So here's the diamond grates. I didn't really care for them that much. Uh, typically, they obviously they don't have the autos. All right, so the autos this year. Uh, obviously, they're going to put the big names, but there's going to be a lot of not so big names. So yeah, you can get obviously Wander um, in the 1987 design. Uh, they do have All Star Stitches autos. Uh, the All Star Stitches dual autos, so basically patch autos like you see here with Tatis. Uh, and then all-star jumbo patch. Those are going to be number 10 or less. Those are going to be super hard to, to pull. Um, same thing even with uh, the stitch autos. They're 25 or less. So not going to be easy to pull. The typical autos, you're going to get the baseball star autos. Um, you can get a dual auto. And then the 87 autograph is what you see here. And then obviously, uh, there's cut signatures, one-on-ones. Those are so rare. Um, here is so this is the normal major league materials auto um, still not an easy pull it is limited to 50 or less according to this there's a reverence auto patch 10 to less 10 or less um, this talks more about the stitches um, own the name relics and then you can see here here's the all-star jumbo patch so all-star game a big patch really nice again five or less you're not pulling that. If, if you pull that, you you got super lucky. Uh, it's just not very likely. That's probably like a one in every 10 case, if that. Um, so and then they do have the special event patch. So, you know, the one thing that Tops always does that I wish they would stop doing is the manufactured relics. This one is pretty cool because it's, it's a nice dedication to Jackie Robinson. Cool. I like that one. Um, but like, still like stop doing the manufactured patch. Like if that was a patch, um, that they actually had in the game, that'd be one thing, but, uh, I'm not, not too big of a fan of the manufactured, the manufactured relic. So. All right. So with the jumbo boxes, you are going to get an oversized rookie reprint box loader because revisit, uh, 25 notable rookie cards in jumbo form. Signed versions are hand numbered to 10 or less. So I'm curious to see what those notable rookies are. Are is there going to be a trout? Uh, yeah, 2011 oversized trout rookie with a potential auto. I would hope so. So uh, with the hobby and jumbo box, it's going to be just like uh, all the standard um, hobby is going to be one article autograph or relic most likely a relic it's about in you know, all the sets before it's been an average of one in four boxes have an autograph um, you are going to get a silver pack and then with the jumbo you are guaranteed an auto you're going to get two relics typically one of them is that manufactured one and then two silver packs typically jumbo is always the way to go with hobby um, depending on the price difference Right. Uh, obviously, with Jumbo, you're typically going to pay more, but it's typically worth it to get Jumbo over the standard hobby. All right. So here is the base checklist. Uh, you'll see here if it has RD next to it, that's their rookie debut. Um, so not their true rookie card, but it's a it's still a rookie. It's just not as coveted as their true rookie. Um, and then you have this guy, like, where it says RC, is that's their true rookie card. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of scroll through this. Um, don't want to spend too much time because it's a big checklist. Um, down a little bit further past this, uh, you're going to see an actual uh, cutout of just the rookies. So feel free to pause at any point if you wanted to take a look at this checklist. 
Um, or you can go to Cardboard Connections uh, and, and take a look at it yourself. Uh, so here is the base rookie set. So they nicely enough, they cut it out into its own little section. So you can just see the rookies are in it. Uh, with this one, you, you are, there is Torkelson, CJ Abrams, Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Wood Jr. The, they're all in here. Uh, Hunter Green as well. So all the guys that were short prints in Series 2 are now have their flagship rookie. Uh, so what's going to happen, most likely what typically happens is their, their rookie cards are still going to have a decent amount of value. The update rookie cards. Um, they're just not going to be as valuable as those short prints. Because those short prints are, like they say, short printed, a lot fewer of them out in the wild. Um, you know, you're probably, if I had to guess, they're going to print this thing to the absolute moon because they know most people are going to be looking for J-Rod and Bobby Witt. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's half a million, you know, J-Rod base rookie cards. So... You know, not going to be the same value as the short printed cards. What you're looking here for in here is the parallels. Parallels are going to be the key uh, to uh, having some good value uh, on these rookie cards. Uh, but you can see there's also other notable names: Bryson Stott, MJ Melendez, Alec Thomas, uh, Jack Sawinski, who had a great start of the year for Pittsburgh. Really kind of cooled off. Oh, Jeremy Pena, like. He's having an awesome playoff right now, uh, but lots of names. And this is these are just the the, the true rookie cards. There also are going to be a lot of rookie debut cards uh, in here as well. So if we actually scroll back up, uh, let me actually do a search. Julio. So you have Julio's base rookie, and there you go. So you have a Julio Rodriguez rookie debut. So you actually have two different Julio Rodriguez cards. Uh, in here as far as base so same thing Bobby Witt he has rookie card and then a rookie debut so that's why rookie or uh, update is a pretty nice product typically because you get lots of rookie cards so uh, base variations obviously tops does not disclose those so we don't know what those are gonna look like just yet pretty good chance that there's going to be a Julio Rodriguez variation Bobby Witt, you know, a lot of the key rookie cards are going to have variations in the set. Pretty good chance. Um, all right, then there's the plate, the the clear set, which are numbered to 10 or less, and it can only be found in hobby. I have never actually pulled one of these cards. They're extremely tough. Uh, a lot of good names. Obviously, you pull off the Julio, Julio Rodriguez with the Bobby Witt. You're, you're, you are got a really good card. So... But lots of other good names as well. So this is finally the time where, and there's actually a rookie debut in the clear, and then there's the base uh, as well. So, uh, but we're finally out of the Wander Mania. Even though Wander does have a, it should be a rookie debut Wander. Um, but now we finally have somebody else to chase other than Wander Franco. It's been it seems like every product is Wander Franco. Or those short print guys. So um, here's the auto checklist. Uh, I'm just going to kind of scroll through these because there's a lot. Uh, you know, with Tops flagship products, there's a lot of autos. Um, so that makes it even harder to pull a big name. So, but you, you know, you can see you do have J Rod. You have guys like Juan Soto, uh, Ronald Acuna, uh, Trout. So you have fantastic names. Alex Tom, Alex Thomas, I think I think he's an underrated prospect or rookie. Uh, Bobby Witt, uh, a lot of good names. Uh, Shohei's in here, Torkelson's in here. Uh, then you have the Baseball Stars autograph checklist. Um, if they're like the Series One and Series Two, it basically has a, like a star around their uh, around their their uh, body. Then you have the dual auto, star, the Baseball Stars dual auto. The diamond grades die cuts, uh, those typically are Hall of Famers or, you know, old time, you know, retired greats. Like A-Rod's obviously not a, a Hall of Famer, probably never will be. 
same thing with Clemens. Uh, it looks like you, so you have Bryce Harper. He's the only current player that's on here. <laughs> kind of funny to me, but uh, you have that generation now. Autos, the Paragons of the postseason, which we haven't seen yet. Tops, black, gold, autos. Definitely some nice names there. Some cut signatures. These ones, again, they're one of ones. Extremely rare, but you got guys like Hank Aaron, Joe DiMaggio. Really some nice names, Jackie Robinson, stuff like that. Those are going to command top dollars if you actually pull the one of those. And then you have your auto relics, the all-star stitches, jumbo patch autos, the dual stitch autos, the commemorative batting autograph, manufactured relic, major league material autos. You, you, get, you can see there's lots and lots of autos in here. Um, special event patch, top reverend. Um, and then just a breakdown of the relics. Again, I'm just going to kind of kind of fly through these. Nothing too crazy. Major League Materials. I own the name, nameplate. Okay. Um, and then they're going to have uh, sketch cards. Um, they've done this before. They, they are one of one. Uh, like I've seen the Trout. I've seen Wander Franco. Uh, I'm sure they're going to do Bobby Witt, Julio Rodriguez, a lot of the big names. Uh, those, again, extremely rare. Um, but they're, they're, they're pretty cool looking cards, typically, from what I've seen. Um, you have the 1987 <laughs> insert. Like, really? Again, <laughs> you have the All Star Game set insert, which that one's not too bad. At least it, you know. Mary, the players that made the All Star team, uh, the Diamond Greats die cuts, the Generation Nows, the Paragons of the postseason. I assume this one got added because, like I said, they're going to print this to the moon, so they had to add another insert with all the parallels and autos and stuff that go with it uh, to help with the uptick in production that they're probably going to do. Uh, they do have the salute to the Mick. Again, Series 1 had three cards. Series 2 had three cards. This one has three cards. Extremely, extremely hard to pull. Never seen this pulled live. Um, those typically are very valuable cards. Uh, the stars of the MLB is returning. Uh, that's another one that, you know, because you buy a, a, like a hanger box, you're getting like three of those. Uh, oh, there. You get tired of seeing those after a while. They are doing the chrome again, so that it's that same card just in a chrome finish. Um, let's see, do we have so CJ Abrams was here, J Rod is in it, Bobby Witt's in it, so at least you can get some of the good name uh, rookies in it. And then you got the top tops black gold, same thing. You got J Rod, you got Witt, Torkelson, um, O'Neill Cruz is in it, Juan de Franco, so some nice names in that checklist. Definitely, I'm definitely going to look to try to collect this set. Uh, really like the top black gold. Uh, there's the list of the toppers. So yeah, Mike Trout, US 175. I think I'm pretty sure uh, that's the the flagship tops update rookie Mike Trout. That's pretty cool. The Derek Jeter. So I don't know. Is that the? That's got to be yeah. It's still it's tops 1992. So. Um, pretty cool. I, I, I like that. I like that, um, that they're, it's going to look like their rookie cards, the Jackie Robinson. Sounds pretty cool. Imagine getting some of those in an auto. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So the autos, Chipper Jones, Tatis, Judge. Wow. Jeter, Trout. Okay. So, yep. Mike Trout, 2011 Trout, auto, box topper. I would love to be able to get that one out of the box topper. Um, all right, that is the checklist for uh, for 2022 tops update. Uh, one thing they did not put in here that I'm curious about is, uh, and I'm sure they're going to do it, but tops does not put it in their checklist. The home field advantage, um, really popular uh, card, uh, really great looking card. They did wander in series two. What I'm curious, and I think it's a huge miss if they don't, but 
I really hope they make a J-Rod and a Bobby Witt home field advantage. That's going to be highly coveted cards. Really nice looking. I really hope they continue with the home home field advantage. I think it'll be, I would think it'd be disappointing if for some reason they didn't, um, but uh, be on the lookout for those because I'm sure they're going to be in there. So. All right, guys, that is it for the checklist. This product does release on the 28th. So we're talking uh, in a few more days at the time I'm recording this video. Um, if uh, I do plan on opening a few boxes, uh, be on the lookout for those boxes on my channel. Um, go out to, you know, these boxes should be relatively affordable right now. Um, with the big rookies, I foresee these boxes going up in value. Uh, you know, unless Tops makes another blunder like they did with Chrome, but you know, I, I don't see that happening. But all right, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think. Please hit the like button. It helps my my videos a ton. Please hit subscribe if you want to see more videos. And hit the bell notification if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for coming out.